everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to probably the coziest rainiest start to the vlog that we have had this autumn i don't know if you're going to be able to hear it i'm sure you probably can because having velux windows means that you can hear the rain just as much as you can see it it is coming down today and i'm actually not that mad about it i'm feeling very snuggly and cozy and lovely this morning although i do hate my worst thing about rainy days like this is the fact that we've got to have the lights on like all day i don't know if you'll be able to see i've got the spotlights on in the kitchen because it's just so dark otherwise and so blue if i don't so i have a feeling today is going to be one of those days where the lights don't go off because it is currently half past eight and normally the lights will be going off at half past eight although at the moment the sun is not rising until half seven in the morning and i am struggling so much with that because i'm an early riser i'm normally up by about six o'clock and to have an hour and a half of like pitch black I really, really struggled with it this morning, but I'm now up and dressed. I'm having a little bit of just kind of no makeup, makeup kind of a day, feeling very cozy. I've got one of my favorite Ralph Lauren cable knits on. This is just a really gorgeous like forest green color, which I really like. I feel like it's very winter. It's quite appropriate with today's weather. Just got a pair of leggings on because I just wanted to be a super snug and I've gone for very minimal makeup, minimal jewelry, and it's a hair scraped back kind of a day. But if all should go to plan, there shouldn't actually be a gap in my videos. Hopefully I will have been able to catch up with myself. However, I actually haven't spoken to you guys in over a week, which is so weird because when you vlog pretty much every single day, going a whole week without vlogging is such a long period of time. And I feel like we need to have like a proper sit down because I've got some things to catch you up on and some things to chat about. So I'm gonna sit down, get myself comfy and we can have a proper good old catch up. Now I know it might seem a little bit odd to be sat on the floor when there's a big comfy sofa beside me, but I really like the setup. I love just being able to sit on the floor together. I feel like it's a little bit more cozy, a little bit more intimate, um, and it's a nice way to just have a good old catch up. So as I mentioned, it's been an entire week since I last picked up the vlogging camera. This is the first day that I've kind of felt like okay enough to pick up the camera. So I've had a little bit of a week let me tell you that and thank goodness I'm always someone that likes to be a little bit ahead when it comes to videos and luckily I'm the kind of person I'm always like a little bit ahead of myself I'm usually about a week in advance so I always like to film about a week before the video goes live and then it just means that if I need to take a couple of days off or maximum I can usually take off is about a week and I can just about catch up with myself and make sure that there's no gaps in the schedule because there is nothing that gives me more anxiety and more like heart palpitations than not getting a video up I honestly feel so guilty if a video is late or it doesn't go up like it upsets me so so much because i know that you guys are ready on a tuesday a thursday and a sunday to watch the videos and if it doesn't go off at 5 p.m on the tuesday and thursday i get so so upset with myself so i like to make sure that the videos can go up so today was the first day that i felt like ready to come back to vlogging and ready to you know have a bit of a chat i still wanted it to be nice and cozy and nice and relaxing but basically i woke up a little under a week ago at about 2 a.m with excruciating pain in my shoulder like excruciating i was crying i woke alex up i didn't know what to do i couldn't get comfortable and both of us were obviously a little bit panicked as to what it was because two in the morning woke me up from my sleep um so i've had a few tests done they've looked into it um and we basically found that it's a trapped nerve now that sounds so undramatic like so oh it's just a trapped nerve but if you've ever had a trapped nerve, I would not wish that upon my worst enemy. It is agony. And we've basically found that the trapped nerve is causing the muscle to spasm around it because they're clearly like aggravating each other and getting kind of almost like maybe stuck with each other. Um, and if you feel my shoulder right now, it is literally rock hard. Like everyone that touched my shoulder would be like, oh my God. 
And basically what you get from a trap nerve is almost like that pins and needles type feeling. Um, so I literally feel like I have pins and needles all the way going up into my neck. Like I can feel it almost in the back of my head and going all the way down in my arm. And they're like, this is going to sound so weird, but there are parts of your arm that you never normally feel. And when you can start to feel them, you're like, wow, this is a very new sensation. This is not fun. And it's not not been a good week i've been in a lot of pain and i've been given um some medication to take whilst i kind of like wait for it to basically resolve um but i really don't like taking it because it is so strong that i literally get knocked out like i can't drive when i take it um you can't you know operate heavy machinery and things like that um and the weird thing that it does is it makes my arm go like dead like you know you, when you've been sleeping on your arm for hours and you wake up and it's literally dead and you're kind of there going like come on move it won't move so it's almost like i have to choose between like the pain and the pins and needles feeling or the like sensation of a dead arm um and that's basically been my week for the last week i've been on the sofa fed up and not feeling very good um waiting for it to resolve itself um but it doesn't seem to be so i've been looking into different kind of solutions different ways that i can fix it um and the main kind of like biggest recommendation is acupuncture which is something that i i do remember actually. i've had it in the past um not had it for maybe like 10 years though i know a lot of people that swear by it they recommend it so much for any kind of like tension nerves spasms with your muscles um any kind of like sports injuries acupuncture is supposed to be really really good so i have an appointment booked for next week which is the earliest i was able to get in so i basically just have to go another few days of dealing with the pain kind of working my way around it and just trying to keep calm and carry on as our beloved majesty used to say um so yeah that has been my week for the past week and that's been why i haven't picked up the vlogging camera because there's been nothing to talk about nothing to vlog and i've just been sitting on the sofa feeling very very sorry for myself i'm not gonna lie to you i've literally just been so fed up and i hate not working like obviously you guys know i love my job i love work i love picking up the camera and taking photos and heading into london and going shopping and meeting brands and every aspect of my job i just absolutely love doing so not being able to do it it's been so hard and i really really missed it so it's really nice do come back just ease myself back into work and have a bit of a cozy cozy working at day whilst the rain pours out outside um so yeah so i have to let you know how the acupuncture goes next week when i've actually managed to get it done but it is absolutely killing me so if you have any recommendations for nerve pain and anything like that do help a girl out i have been putting like a hot water bottle and stuff on it as well but that doesn't really seem to be doing anything um so i think i'm just going to fingers crossed hope that the acupuncture will fix it resolve it and i will be able to go back to normal um because i'm not entirely sure what normal feels like anymore <laughs> i don't remember what it feels like not to have pins and needles shooting it down at this arm um so yeah <laughs> quick little health life and everything catch up before we get into the rest of the video but just wanted to let you know if i am a little bit like maybe not as high energy as i normally am that is why and that is where i've been for the last week so if i've been a little bit quiet on stories as well then i do apologize because it's been hard really really hard trying to i've still been wanting to be on my phone like i'm still obviously mentally fine um it was just i wasn't able to pick up or talk to the camera or anything um so yeah but i've got some fun things planned today as i said easing myself back into work i've got some new bits to unbox with you and lots of things to get on with so let's get to them can things ever be the same So I'm trying to be as productive with my time as possible today after so many days of doing nothing. The washing pile has just been piling up. So I've just chucked a load of washing in and I've also been rearranging my flowers because it's actually Alex and I's sit Alex and I's? Mine and Alex's six year anniversary at the weekend. Sorry about the noise of the washing machine. Um, but yeah, 
six years we've been together. I literally cannot believe it. Such a long period of time, but he got me some lovely flowers, um, which some of them are starting to die now because it was at the weekend, but the lilies are still going strong. Um, and it's so funny because Alex actually has really, really bad hay fever. The other night he would not stop sneezing. He was like, why am I sneezing so much? And I turned to him and went, oh my God, it's the lilies. So I've had to de- stain and all of them to try and get rid of the pollen it seems to have helped quite a lot but bless him he was like for goodness sake like i'm allergic to the flowers that i got you for our anniversary at my old babe <laughs> oh my goodness oh, honestly this lighting is so orange but it's still so dark outside i mean i'm not hating it because it is just giving me all the cozy vibes and somehow our garden is still looking lovely like these geraniums are still flowering we've still got some flowers in these pots so i've not even like depotted all the flowers yet um and the olive tree i'm not entirely sure do i take in the olive tree for winter i'm not sure if it's going to survive um but yeah trying to be as productive as possible with my time today and get all the jobs done that i've not been able to do over the last few days okay it's a little while later now and i have a big box to go through with you guys a big <laughs> big box and i think it is safe to say that this is probably the best autumn winter delivery that i could ever ever ask for like i feel like at this time of year this is what i get most excited about so i want to unbox it with you guys and go through i literally have been saving it it arrived about three days ago and you have no idea how tempted i was because i felt like this sort of made me feel so much better but i was like no we want to go through this together because i know you guys are just as excited about this as i am so let's go through the box together i've got my little skizzers here to unbox it honestly this is just the biggest delivery of this particular item i think i have ever ever received we have a cyber jammies delivery to unbox and honestly if you guys know me you know how much i adore my cyber jammies i literally don't wear anything else in bed anymore and back in summer i did a really great like summery cyber jammies haul with lots of like shorts and little tops it was so great for the warmer weather but now that we are getting into the winter months i want much cozier comfier pjs that i can snuggle up into it's going to keep me really nice and toasty warm in the evenings and at night so i thought we could unbox what's inside Side of these orders because I've got two big boxes this size to unbox with you. We've got lots of jammies to go through that I think are just going to be so perfect for autumn, winter. If you don't know cyber jammies, they are literally the coziest, comfiest, softest PJs in the entire world. So I will link them down below and I will link each individual pair that I picked up here. I always like to get them as sets because I feel like there's nothing better than like a matching set of PJs. I feel like I just always want to be like really put together. Even when I'm going to bed, nothing makes me feel better than being put together and having a matching pair of jammies so let's unbox this together and go through my new pjs oh my goodness this is the perfect festive robe that i've ever seen we've got the um the tie it hits this is the most gorgeous like red check robe in the entire world and it is so soft oh my goodness that's literally the softest thing in the entire entire world that is so lovely I literally just want to snuggle up into it. it's like a flannel i really like this because i do feel like with dressing gowns i like to have a few i like to have a variety in my collection because i feel like some days you want something a bit snugglier a bit warmer other days you maybe want something that's a little bit lighter if it's like really warm in the house this is like a really nice mid warmth i feel like this to me is the perfect morning robe and i know that's going to sound very specific but i don't like to be too snuggled up in the morning with my robe when i'm going down to get my morning coffee and have my breakfast because i feel like i want to at least try and start the day and not feel like i'm about to get into bed so i like something like this it's a really really gorgeous flannel and i think this would be perfect on like you know on christmas morning i don't know about you guys but we stay in our pjs until about mid morning we do all our present unwrapping in our pjs and i like to still look put together so i feel like having a lovely festive robe like this is so so gorgeous and what's really exciting i was hoping that this would be the next thing to unbox if i actually have the matching pajama set to this as well would you look at this so it's a really gorgeous shirt and bottoms combos i really like pajama tops that are like actual shirts i personally prefer them to just like a you know like crew neck t-shirt type thing because i just feel like it's a little bit more elevated it's a little bit more elegant and i don't know about you but 
I don't want to be wearing a bra as soon as I get into my PJs and I don't like how with just like a plain top it's very very obvious that you're not wearing a bra so if you've got guests around or you know you're having a sleepover it's like it's just not flattering in my opinion, whereas I feel like these are much more flattering if you want to just get your bra off, get comfy and get really, really cosy. So we've got a long shirt, which I thought was so, so lovely. And we've also got a pair of trousers. Now, when it comes to trousers, I like to have like straight leg or wide leg. I don't like tapered trousers when it comes to pajamas because I feel a bit suffocated when I get into bed, which I know probably sounds a bit silly, but I really like them to be nice and cozy. So we've got an elasticated waistband. We've got a little tie waist so you can pull them in. And with regards to sizing, I always size up slightly with my PJs because I want them to be really nice and cozy. And the fact that you can pull in the waist means that I'm better off going up a size and pulling them in than going down a size and having them a bit tight. So I like to go for a 14 in my PGAs. So I'm gonna have to try these on for you, aren't I? We're gonna have to try them on. <laughs> I mean, is this not just the coziest, cutest set you have ever laid your eyes on? I'm obsessed, absolutely obsessed. The print is gorgeous. Like the colors are really, really lovely. It's obviously very festive, but I don't think it's too like garishly festive. You guys know what I'm like. I love that old traditional, you know, like reds and golds and like classic festive colors, but I never like it to be tacky or garish or anything like that. And this I think is the perfect festive check i love the fact that you've got like the kind of almost pinky tones running through it so it makes it a little bit more feminine as well of course i'm doing all these try-ons in my elk slippers <laughs> because i couldn't not i just want to get so cozy now and this is also perfect if you want to have like a movie day maybe you can have your friends around for a film or something like that because it's obviously pjs but like it's a little bit classier it's a little bit you know more kind of dressed up while still being super comfy and super cozy like i love the fact that the waistband is super elastic so it's really comfortable to wear and the shirt just matches so perfectly nothing screams i've got my bish together like a pj set that matches that nothing Thing is as cozy as the Cyber Jammies PJ, so I could not be happier with this. And then the second PJ set that I picked up is another festive number. And would you look at this? Oh my goodness, I am obsessed. I have a feeling you're probably gonna see lots of photos of me in these around the festive period because they are just like this is Christmas to me. Like this is what it is all about, and I feel I feel like I just love to look put together and love to look like really festive but still be really cozy and I cannot tell you how soft these are. They're just like the softest, coziest flannel material. I absolutely love them. What I really like as well about the collars is they're not stiff. Like I don't feel like I'm wearing a shirt. It just feels really nice and loose. So we've got the shirt and again we have got the matching bottoms. So it's slightly different in terms of the check from the last one. This one's a little bit more like peachy pinky. I feel like this is a bit more unisex. So if you wanted to do maybe like a matching with your boyfriend or your husband or your kids, I feel like this is the perfect kind of tartan for that. So really getting me in the festive spirit with my new PJs. <laughs> I love this one too. This is so, so cute. It's definitely a bit more masculine than the other one with the fact that it's obviously got more like black red tones running through it, but I do still absolutely love it. I think I might have to pick this one up for Alex as well, because I think it would be so cute if we were matching PJs. But I just absolutely adore them. And I love the fact that obviously on the leg, they're just really nice and like that kind of straight leg. It's not too tight. It's it's not too wide it's just super comfortable and really comfy to sleep in as well like I don't find that they roll up too much so I really really love these they're just going to keep you really nice and snugly warm on Christmas morning or for any kind of festivities in the evening going to bed oh love it so much okay these ones are a little bit less festive so I've got another robe here I really am robe obsessed guys I just love them I love how they make you feel I love how cozy and comfy they are and this is a really beautiful one which is actually matching to a set that I already have that's like a little shirt and shorts set I don't know if you remember back in summer when I did my cyber jammies unboxing but it's a really gorgeous is it black and I can't remember if this is black or navy blue and it's too dark for me to be able to see but it's got this really gorgeous like light blue piping running down it which I think just makes it look so so expensive I really do feel like I just love to look put together but still be super comfy and cozy and I'm not joking when I say that the soft material of this is nothing like I've ever felt from any other pajama store any other jammies 
and it really does wash well as well i've had a few pajamas from like different brands like i've had white company pajamas i've had primark pajamas i've had ms pajamas and i do find that after a couple of washes they just ruin and they're not as soft anymore they're not as lovely to put on whereas i've had cyber Janamese for years and they're always the ones that last the test of time so I picked up another really really gorgeous robe that i thought would be so perfect for autumn winter i then picked up a really really gorgeous set now this is the first one that's not the typical like soft cotton this feels more like a cottony linen-y fabric it's a bit lighter in a material but it's a really really gorgeous like printed very autumnal pajama set and i love the piping i feel like the details that cyber jammies adds onto by the way i just want to say this is not sponsored i just am very passionate about my pajamas but the details that they add onto their pjs is just amazing like i love the piping i love the way that they can add detail without making it uncomfortable because obviously you just want your pjs to be really soft really easy to wear so we have another shirt there and then we've also got the trousers which again have an elasticated to waistband and a drawstring which is so so important to me oh and all the pjs also have pockets which i find really really helpful because there's nothing worse than like not having anywhere to put your phone you know having to walk around with it in your hand so another really gorgeous set now this one is definitely the most different in terms of like the fabric and the material. It's the lightest out of the three of them, but it's still so beautiful and so soft. This one's a little bit more oversized as well, actually, I think due to the fabric, but my favorite thing about it is just the patterns and the colors. It's so autumnal with these like orange and red hues running through it. I absolutely adore it with like this black background. Do you know what I actually think this would be perfect for if you were to have like an autumn movie night with your friends, if you were to like invite them around to watch like the witches or like a Halloween film and you wanted to dress really cozy and have like a pajama party, this would be perfect. It's like very autumnal and very seasonal. I think it's just so, so lovely. Again, super comfy with the elasticated waistband and the pocket. It's, oh, I just, I can't love cyber jammies more because they really tick every box for me when it comes to my PJs. I want them to be comfy, tick. I want them to be cozy, tick. I want them to be elegant and chic, tick. I want them to have pockets, tick. I want them to have design details that don't detract from the like comfort. Tick, 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 tick. I absolutely adore them. I think this is such a cute one to add into your wardrobe. Last set, oh my goodness me is an absolute beauty again so many design details to this without taking away from the comfort so it's this really gorgeous super soft like that really soft cotton again but this is actually the first one that's not a shirt the rest of the tops have been shirts really gorgeous sets so it's got this really cute little v-neck which i think is so so lovely with this like lace detail oh my goodness i'm absolutely obsessed with it it's such a lovely set and this really lovely like it's not quite a forest green. I'd say the green on my jumper is more of a forest green. This is more of like a, almost like a Cotswolds green in my opinion, which I think is just so, so beautiful. The top is just stunning. Like This literally looks like a top that you could wear. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got the trousers again, which have the drawstring. And I just think nothing makes me feel better getting into bed than wearing something super soft super comfy but super put together like really really beautiful it just makes me so so happy i oh, cannot believe how much i ordered but i feel like when it comes to autumn winter you just want to really make sure that your pj like collection is well stocked i mean i don't know about you but i like to rotate my pajamas a lot i don't like to wear the same thing like every single night for like a week i like to rotate them make sure that they're nice and washed and fresh so that when i get into bed i just have that lovely feeling of fresh pajamas to get into i absolutely adore that and i definitely think it's about time that i maybe had a bit of a clear out of some older pajama sets that i can say goodbye to and move on from because i have some new gorgeous pieces here and this one is definitely a bit of a dark horse of the haul i feel like it didn't look much like as i was holding it up as i've got it on this is actually i think my favorite i really really like this i love the lace details the fact that the white stands so like stark against the green i think is beautiful and i really love this v-neck i think it's just absolutely stunning obviously it's not got the buttons it's not got the like collar so you might have to wear like a little vest or something underneath if you are to wear it around 
guess but I love the trousers as well again we've got the drawstring waist the elasticated waistband and the pockets which again the pockets have these little details as well I just feel like they haven't left anything unthought about which I really really like in terms of length as well in case anyone's wondering they're like absolutely fine on me I mean they're a little bit long in terms of the fact that I am obviously petite and my legs are a bit shorter but especially when you've got slippers on if you're just going to be wearing them in the house it doesn't really matter so um yeah little side pajamas oh for you guys some really really gorgeous pieces to add into your autumn winter pj collection i am so obsessed with absolutely all of these so i'll link to side pajamas down below for you guys so you can have a little scroll and a little look through if there's anything that you want to pick up and treat yourself my goodness i normally hold my camera with this arm but even that is hurting to like hold it up it really sends shoots up my neck that is oh I literally just went to automatically hold the camera and went, ooh, that, that is not fun. But there's another job that I have been putting off for a while and thought, you know what, today is the day to do it. And I kind of can't believe I'm going to show you this, but this is my current skincare drawer in my desk. It looks like this. I mean, I know, absolutely horrendous. Like, I don't think I've ever let it get that bad, but I'm kind of like using some products i think some of them may be empty i need to like swap over some things um so i think it's about time that like, there's a couple of things i know are completely empty and i don't know why i've still got them in here like the liz out this is the skin repair gel cream which i really like but as you can see there is literally nothing left in there <laughs> so that definitely needs to go i also have my estee lauder advanced night repair that is pretty much completely gone i don't think i can get anything else it looks like there's still a little bit left in there, but every time I go to use it, I can never get anything left in the pet. So I think there's definitely some things that I can go through and maybe say goodbye to, even if it's like not just goodbye forever, but like just put them to the side. And if I'm not reaching for them as much, maybe, oh, see, automatically I went to go use because this arm doesn't ache as much because I'm so used to it, but it really hurts. Um, oh, I'm so used to using that arm, but yeah, I think it's about about time i had a good old clear out of this drawer because it's so so overdue so cue the time lapse we're gonna do some sorting maybe you'll listen someday I think we can all agree that that is a hell of a lot better than it was before. I feel like I've actually got everything manageable and reachable and I know what I'm using and I can get to it very easily. I also actually the other day haven't unboxed it yet, but I picked up a new Real Techniques um, beauty blender because I've not bought a new one in a really long time. So I need to open that up and put that in my makeup bag. But it's always so satisfying when you've just done a proper, you know, one of those jobs that only takes about 10, 15 minutes, but you've been putting it off for such a long time. Well, I think it's safe to say that that beauty clear out came at the perfect time because look at what has just come through the door. A lovely little delivery from Pixie. Now I am on the Pixie mailing list, so I sometimes just get random drops that I have no idea what's inside, which is always so much fun to unbox and see. I do absolutely adore Pixie products. I feel like they have some really, really gorgeous like makeup bits, beauty bits. I use a lot of their um, things in my like everyday makeup routine. Obviously the Pixie 24 hour moisture tint um the setting spray i absolutely love i love the brow shaper so i thought we could unbox this and see what is inside because it's a lovely lovely little delivery and they always do such great press releases oh okay so this is i'm gonna move this packaging out of the way because i don't really think there was any need for that but this is a botanical collagen collection as you can see here i absolutely adore the green of their packaging i feel like they really pioneered this like color so we've got a few things in here so it says refine and revitalize with a unique blend of acacia collagen acacia 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 i'm guessing a c a c i a collagen peptides and fruit extracts featured in our botanical collagen collection these skin nourishers promote glow enhancing effects that last and i definitely think I could do with that after a couple of days on the sofa. So, 
first of all, we have the Botanical Collagen Tonic. Now, I really love the Pixie Tonics. I used the Glow Tonic for a really, really long time, and I actually only stopped using it when I started using the Liz R1, but it is one of my absolute favorites, like a real, real cult classic, and I do find when it comes to looking after your skin, stopping lots of breakouts, and just making sure to kind of keep it really healthy, Tonic is like the best thing to use, because I do find that I will double cleanse, like with cleanser, I feel like my skin is squeaky clean. I then use a toner and like there is still grub that it is getting out. So this sounds like a really exciting one. So it is a volumizing toner. Let's see what it says on the back. Helps to promote a youthful looking complexion. Coconut water adds hydration while sea salt helps remineralize the skin. Alcohol free, great for all skin types. Love that. So if you've got sensitive skin, that should be a really, really good one for you. We then have some face masks here, which I'm really excited about. So this is the Volume Infusion Sheet Masks. I feel like these are always great to use in the bath. So that sounds like a really, really lovely one. Instant smoothing and volumizing effect sheet mask. I really like the sound of that. Although sheet masks are never like my favorite favorite when it comes to um, skincare, just because I always find they're so big on my face. Uh, we then have a botanical collagen eye serum. Now you guys know I'm always up for trying a new eye serum. I always love testing them out. Um, and this is lightweight and quick absorbing. Rich serum helps hydrate and brighten, preserving youthful looking skin. So that sounds really nice. Now with regards to like youth products, I always find that I'm quite lucky, obviously being in my 20s, I don't need to worry too much about it, but Caroline Hirons always says that prevention is literally the only way of stopping the eyes the signs of aging you can't reverse them but you can prevent them from coming so I really do start to think about that with regards to my skincare and like just what I'm adding in at the moment um it's the last one is the botanical collagen lip gloss I might use this now actually I really like the skip the pixie lip glosses I feel like they're always like moisturizing without being sticky and this I like I mean I do have a little bit a little bit of lip on it already but yeah I like that it's not really got a taste to it no, it's not got a taste or a smell, so I really, really like that because it's just a nice one at two top up. And then obviously it does have, if you don't want to use your finger, it does have the applicator as well. But I just don't want to get it covered in like pink lipstick. So yeah, what a lovely, lovely press release from Pixie. A great way to brighten my day because I feel like I really want to focus on my skincare this evening and give myself a real pamper because you know what it's like when you're just on the sofa for the day like you're not very good at looking after your skin and maintaining it and pampering it so it'll be really really lovely to have a well overdue pamper tonight well it is safe to say that i have crashed i've officially crashed i feel like throughout the day it goes in like waves of like just how bad it is and how kind of like how much i can ignore it and i officially hit the point where i'm like i just can't I just want to go to sleep <laughs> and just cannot wait for the acupuncture appointment that's all I will say I literally cannot wait for it um so yeah I almost didn't finish this vlog but I wanted to quickly jump on and say goodbye I hope you enjoyed the cozy vibes today I must admit I'm kind of grateful for the fact that it was bad weather today because I feel like I don't feel guilty just being inside and having a bit of an at-home day when the weather's like this, whereas when it's like nice and sunny, I feel like I need to be like doing things and making content and like, you know, I can't even really shoot in this kind of weather. So like not even, you know, at home stuff. So I'm kind of a little bit grateful that the weather ended up being like this today um, because it just gave me a real opportunity to ease back into things. And I just wanted to make sure that I could walk before I could run. So I cannot wait for the acupuncture appointment next week. I will have to keep you updated on how it goes and how much of a difference I am praying that it makes. Um, so yeah, bear with me if the next few vlogs are maybe a little bit shorter, like day vlogs, just while I'm kind of catching up with myself. Um, and obviously, you know, it swings and roundabouts how much I can kind of do in a day at the moment. So hopefully the next few vlogs won't be too short and I'll at least be able to still do, you know, day vlogs and stuff with you guys. And um, because I do have some really exciting things coming and a few, a few things are planned in the diary. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Hope you enjoyed the little cozy catch up and kind of day in the life with me today. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.